Hey guys, Shaber1000 here. Today, we're going to replace this piece of wood on this saw because you can see it's getting all just that cardboard stuff. So, let's put a real piece of wood on here. Okay guys, so that is 20 by 22. I've already got the wood marked. We're going to go ahead and cut this off. Hopefully I won't get too much sawdust all over. I've got a plastic grocery bag on the back to catch some of the sawdust. So let's go ahead and kick this on. I've got everything I believe set where it needs to be. So. everywhere I mean it is everywhere all right Let's set it up for this cut now let's do it again Now we're going to take the saw off of the stand. Man, all over my new camera. All right, um, there's only two screws left holding it on on the back side here. I can take you around now. Okay, I forgot to tape my bag on. That's what happened. Duh. Okay, so we're going to take these two bolts, these two screws out here, and. Let me see. Okay. Let me grab what I need to take them out with. I'll be right back. We got what we need here. Alright. There's that. Now going to take the saw off here and we'll flip this over and then we'll uh, we'll take this uh, this piece of crappy wood off of here all right we've got a lot of <laughs> sawdust here and I'm not sure how I'm gonna clean it up uh, Shoot. Let me grab a bucket. Okay. Now let's go ahead and take these screws out all the way around here. I'm going to be putting. Oh, they might be alright. No. I'm going to be putting new screws in it. What the hell, right? Alright, now let's get the new piece of wood on it. Okay guys, what we got going on here is these screws are going to be a little too long. That's okay because we'll just cut them off and go ahead and 
ahead and I'm going to set this under here so they will go all the way through. Move my air hose so I don't put a screw into my air hose. Did that once. Not recently, but it has happened. I'm just going to eyeball this. I don't know if this was even put together right. It doesn't look like it was. All right, let's flip it up. Cut them heads off, or the cut the tips off. All right, I'm just gonna try these nippers here. My grinder has mysteriously come up missing, so. We'll use this, it's starting to, starting to get some thunder outside. A little bit of wind, it's not raining yet. I got a Saturn sitting out there in the driveway. That will not start. I ran some codes on it. It's coming up the O2 sensor bad. It's an elderly lady. She had her neighbor run her up and get an O2 sensor and they gave her the wrong one. Grinder would have been so much easier. And I'll be doggone if I know where the hell it is. Alright, now I'm gonna set this back up on here. How's that? One of the feet. All right, now I'm going to measure it and make sure it's pretty close. It ain't going to be perfect, but I like to be close as I can get it. I also want it to be right above the legs to hold the weight better. Ah, that's looking better. Inch and a half. Alright, now we're just going to screw it down. It's got a bottom thing to it there for like a bottom shelf, but I 
right, these screws aren't going to work. I'm going to have to get some different screws. Let me find some different screws, but it does have a bottom shelf. But it's real flimsy, so I'm going to make another, I'm going to make a bottom shelf for it, but probably not today. So, let me get some different screws. Okay, I found some screws. I got three that match. One's a Phillips that matches, but it's a Phillips. Here comes the rain, it sounds like. And, like I said, one's a Phillips, one's a uh, number two square. Two more, and this part of it is done. I'll blow it off and with compressed air. Uh, I have hit something there. Okay, great. Probably hit something here too. Nope, yeah. Hitting the metal underneath. It's not a big deal. I'll just drill it out. That's what we'll do. Hang tight. Okay, here we go. I've got a, I'm sure I've got a, I'm sure I've got a chuck around here somewhere. that did anything but we're gonna find out If we can, I'll probably have to put a washer on that. That's the way these were. They wasn't the ones I took out wasn't all the way in. That's probably why. All right, I got to get something to tighten this with. put a couple washers on there let me see if I can find some washers okay I got a couple washers here I got a flat washer and a uh, lock washer 
it doesn't need a lock washer but I couldn't find I didn't want to like washer it up a whole bunch you know make it look any worse than it already does so. and this is not a number two it is a number three bit so Go. It's a little bigger. Ah, oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There we go. Now, do the other one. I'm guessing that's the problem they had before. And it's a little thinner wood, but. It's a stronger wood than that stupid cardboard sawdust stuff. I'm gonna have to try to put that in at an angle because the wood's already stripped out. There we go. Ah, oh, come on, man. nice and solid like I said down at the bottom here now it's sitting right out there it's that little tiny piece it's real thin I'm going to use some more of this I'm going to use that one as a template and I'm going to put it down here and you just screw it on through the bottom but I'm not going to do that today I just wanted to bring this bring you along with me today on this little trip I'll show you what we're doing we have got the Saturn out here. And the only code, well, there was two codes. One was the IAT sensor, intake air temperature, which is that. And I took it out and cleaned it. That code cleared and stayed off. The other one was the um, O2 sensor. Number two bank, number two sensor. All right, I took it out and it's running. But as you can see, that light's still going to be on because I got the sensor out. So, hopefully that'll take care of care of it for her but they they gave her the wrong damn one they even called she called me and said here this guy has a question for you is it before or after the catalytic converter i said it's after it's number two that means it's after okay this is the one we need i'll show you why we need it It's all busted up. Okay. Um, but what it would do after you drove it somewhere, you know, once it got up to operating temperature, it would um, be it'd be running all right. Well, there is a misfire on number two cylinder. That's a that's a plug, but it wasn't bad. Um, but we're going to put new plugs in it too. But this is what that end's supposed to look like. See that? That's what it's supposed to look like. This is what it looks like. All busted up. Also, this is what the end is supposed to look like. And as you can see, it gave us the wrong one. So, I'll have to go down when Monkey gets home and get the right one. I'm trying to get that done for her tonight and see if that's an issue. Um, but what it would do is it would be, you'd be driving along, you shut it off, you can go to start it up. It would start up, run about five seconds, install. And the only codes I'm bringing up on that thing was those two. And one of them did, it actually uh, cleared itself when I checked it again. Now, so sometimes 
they normally won't cause it to shut down but i have seen them to where it actually caused the, the vehicle to shut down but she come down here to, to ask me what i charge to um you know fix it and, and we was talking about i ran the codes for her and told her what the problems were and uh she said okay and she was going to go well she was going to go home and i was going to call her once i found out what the uh what the prices were and um well she started up install started up install so i took i unplugged it and I did clear the codes and I took that out and it's running now. So hopefully that'll be the issue. I'll let you know on an update of that. Also, something else I wanted to show you with those tents. Stay tuned for a video of this. The guy also gave me this. Needs mantles, but I've got mantles. Uh, Hasn't been used that much, so that's cool. Takes the white gas, the black little metal can of gas for them. So, anyway, guys, Shea Bear, the Myth Man on Legend. I just wanted to do something real quick for you guys today. <laughs> and hopefully, it won't rain till Sunday, so I can get that thing done for her this evening and. Uh, a couple things I want to do tomorrow. So, all right, guys. So there it is. We'll do another one when we cut that out. Like I said, I'm going to use that for a template, and um, then that way it'll be much sturdier. I mean, these things are just you know, you can see how they're bolted together. Just little bolts there. But so there it is. All right, I got to pick some tools up. Monkey's on her way home. So I'll chat you guys later. Shea Bear, the Myth Man, Legend, gone for now. Bye, bye, guys, and take care.